Because our moon and other planets have different masses than Earth, gravity on these bodies is different than that on Earth. Remember the equation relating weight, mass, and acceleration of gravity is weight in newtons is equal to mass in kilograms times acceleration of gravity in newtons per kilogram. The acceleration of gravity depends on the mass of the planet or moon an object is on or near. Remember on Earth, the acceleration of gravity is equal to 9.8 newtons per kilogram. The values of the acceleration of gravity g are different for the moon and other planets. This table shows that the value of g for Earth is 9.8. For the moon, it's 1.6. For Mars, it's 3.7 and for Jupiter, it's 25. Let's do a couple of questions. We're given that the mass of a particular car is 1600 kilograms. Question A asks us for the weight of this car on Earth. To calculate weight, we use the formula W equals m times g, where W is the weight in newtons, m is the mass in kilograms, and g is the acceleration in newtons per kilogram. So starting with the formula, we can substitute 1600 kilograms in for the mass of the car, and 9.8 newtons per kilogram for the value of g on Earth. 1600 times 9.8 comes out to 15,680. The unit kilogram is in the numerator and the denominator, so it can be cancelled out, leaving us with only newtons as a unit. So the unit for our answer is newtons. And the answer is 15,680 newtons. So we'll state over here that the weight of the car on Earth is 15,680 newtons. Question B asks us for the weight of the car on the moon. So starting with the formula W equals m times g, we can substitute 1,600 kilograms in for the mass of the car and 1.6 newtons per kilogram for the value of g on the moon. 1600 times 1 1.6 comes out to 2560. The unit kilogram is in the numerator and the denominator, so it can be cancelled out, leaving us with only newtons as a unit. So the unit for our answer is newtons, and the answer is 2560 newtons. So we'll state this over here, that the weight of the car on the moon is 2560 newtons. Comparing the weight of the car on Earth and the moon, the ratio of the weight of the car on Earth to the weight of the car on the moon is equal to 15,680 divided by 2560, which is approximately 6. The weight of the car on Earth is approximately 6 times the weight of the car on the moon which means the weight of the car on the moon is about one-sixth the weight of the car on the Earth. Question C asks us for the weight this car would have on the planet Jupiter. So starting with the formula W equals m times g, we can substitute 1600 kilograms in for the mass of the car, and 25 newtons per kilogram in for the value of g on Jupiter. 1600 times 25 comes out to 40,000. The unit kilogram can be cancelled out, leaving us with only the unit newtons. So the unit for our answer is newtons, and the answer is 40,000 newtons. So we'll state over here that the weight of the car on Jupiter is 40,000 newtons. Comparing the weight of the car on Jupiter and Earth, the ratio of the weight of the car on Jupiter to the weight of the car on Earth is 40,000 newtons divided by 15,680 newtons, which comes out to approximately 2.55, or a little over 2.5. So we can state that the weight of the car on Jupiter is a little over 2.5 times the weight of the car on Earth. Summarizing the results, we see that the weight or force of gravity on the car is different on the Earth, the Moon, and other planets. This is because the values of g, or gravitational acceleration, are different on these different bodies. 
but the mass of the car is the same, no matter where the object is. This is because mass is simply the amount of matter in an object, which is the same no matter where the object is. Thank you.